hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by um nigeria's insecurity massively complex beyond military approach and this is coming from uk yeah please if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button in that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen this news i read the current spate of insecurity in nigeria according to james dodridge the british minister for africa is massively complex he also claimed that the international community is incapable of resolving the country's numerous problems including the boko haram insurgency and a variety of other issues during a court CV visit to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Godfrey Onyama Dodridge reviewed this while answering questions from journalists in Abuja on Wednesday. The situation is extremely complicated and no alliance would be able to address the plethora of issues that exist, whether it is Boko Haram or a variety of other issues, Dodridge said. You have a great associate in the UK on a wide range of topics so it is not only about intelligence hard security and the military it is also about economies humanitarian aid education and development cooperation we don't get to a stage where we think this is the end of our relationship with nigeria because we got what we wanted, we raised the bar, and we are long-term partners, he said. Nigeria faces difficult challenges, according to Onyama, especially the unorthodox nature of the battle against Boko Haram insurgency. We are concerned with asymmetrical warfare and very complex circumstances with our allies, the United States, the United Kingdom, and France. We have an intelligent fusion unit, Onyema complained. He stated that Nigeria was dealing with high unemployment and inflation, but that the country was steadily improving. He praised the British government for all of its assistance to Nigeria in overcoming its various challenges, especially in the north. All right, guys, and uh, that is it for you all. This one is coming from a British minister to Africa, and thank God that this one is coming from an uh, international community, not just from anybody in Nigeria, so that the government will not say, eh, we don't appreciate what they are doing. Thank God that even outsiders are seeing what is happening in Nigeria, and they are beginning to voice out. Now, he is trying to say that, the issue of insecurity in Nigeria is just complicated, even beyond our military to handle. And what does that tell you? It's simply saying that this insecurity issue we are talking about in Nigeria is a leadership problem. They created it. They know how they started all these whole problems. And if they want to end it, they can also end it. So sending our soldiers to Sambisa Forest to die is uncalled for. Because they know that even the military cannot end this war against insurgency, especially the Boko Haram group. Imagine the soldiers going to Sambisa Forest to bomb and coming back to tell us that they mistakenly bombed uh, bomb a uh, uh, military camp and killed about 20 soldiers. Imagine. And thank God, if not for the fact that even some of the soldiers came out to say that the military, the Air Force, they targeted their camp. Some gullible Nigerians will still believe that stupid story. That yes, it was truly by mistake they bombed their camp. The kind of stories we believe from these our so-called leaders is horrible. Sometimes you have to ask questions, eh? Because you cannot imagine how Boko Haram's are being equipped, yet our military, they send them there empty-handed to go and die for nothing's sake. You equip a terrorist group, yet the military who are fighting to protect lives and property of the people, you give them nothing, and yet you send them. 
And I think it's the high time all these uh, military men wise up. They need to wake up because these people, they cannot send you empty-handed to go and fight a terrorist group with sophisticated weapon. Yet, you don't have what it takes. You are not well equipped. You don't have what it takes to fight them. Then you still go and die. So what happens to you resigning? What is so special about this work? You will go all in the name of you want to fight for your people. Not that you are receiving a good uh, payment now. Not that you are receiving a good salary now. Most of them are there in Sambisa Forest. Even salary, they are not being paid. Their people back home are not being taken care of. The other day, they released a video that for four days, they kept them hungry, fighting with empty stomach. Now, just a few days ago, it was reported that the Boko Haram acquired new weapons. <laughs> You need to see. And this is to tell you that these people, they know what they are doing. My question is, how did that armor tank get to them? And the federal government, they saw the newly acquired machine by the terrorists. If it is really a government that wants to fight terrorists, they will start investigating where the weapon came from, how they managed to get it. Because this government is truly in control of everything happening in this country. So they cannot tell you they don't know how these people are operating or how they are getting their weapons. But tomorrow they will come out and tell you that eh, we are doing everything to fight the insecurity. Fighting insecurity, my food. So my people, the issue is really complicated. Like the British minister said, you know, they say if somebody thief your thing, the person can't follow you, the final. It got day very, very difficult for you to see them. Now I'll be waiting, Nigerian government, they do with the citizens. That they sponsor this thing and they'll come out and tell you, hey, we are trying to find them. How they want to see them? We'll be saying, waiting will they find a day their hand. Oh, the insecurity that is happening in this country is just far beyond the military in this country. And our soldiers are being killed every day and their families are left with trauma simply because these people they vowed to fight for their country go to the western world see how they care for their military they provide for them but in nigeria everything is always upside down nigeria is the only country where terrorists are cared for while innocent citizens are neglected look at where we are today as a nation the so-called giant of africa nothing to write home about just you know, get there is nothing anybody can do about it. Just like the British minister said, these people have spoiled a lot of things beyond repair. If you want to repair this nation today, now nah, where will you start from? Is it from insecurity? Is it from the economy? From where exactly? So these people, they've gone far already. It's only God that will save us in this nation. And uh, that is it for you Or I'm just going to leave you all to share your thought with me on the comment section. And with that, I'll say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate. Remain blessed until I come your way next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.